This is a production of the Hardway HQ Podcasting Network. What's up, guys? John Harder here in Hardway HQ Studios. Next to me, Ed Scanlon, my co-host, my best friend, the Hardcore BF Podcast. And we're doing something different for Hardway HQ. We're going to try to do an alternate commentary track over a wrestling match Ed has once participated in. And in particular, uh, that match would be from Ace Anarchy 2008, the BS Express vs. Gate and Geo, Thomas Gate Rodriguez, Giovanni Maranca. Something we wanted to try out, do something different. Uh, and we're going to post it online, post it on the Hardway HQ YouTube page. So uh, subscribe and go to hardwayhq.com. Ed, are you ready to do this? Well, we're going to make sure we're going to try. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a test run. We're trying it out. Test run. It's going to be a beta test for the YouTube page, and uh, let's see how it comes out. So stay tuned for this alternate track. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here about to record a match from August, September, not August, September 2008. Well, uh, Ace Anarchy 2008 International Incident. In uh, the Ace Arena, 725 Sip Street, and it is the Union BS City, Expre- New Jersey. Union City. As it's the BS Express going against Thomas DeGate Rodriguez and Giovanni Maranca. Ed, what I want to really touch upon here is, you know, how, how important was this match for you guys? First, you know, super card type match for uh, Ace at the time. And you're facing off against two of your training buddies, you know, Thomas DeGate and Giovanni Maranca, guys who were accomplished before you guys started wrestling in Ace and now ultimately have become really good friends at this point and uh, are facing off in the opening contest at Anarchy. Um, yeah, this was a pretty big deal for me and Tommy. Uh, like I said, this was our... Because uh, at the time, you know, Ace uh, would run weekly slash bi-weekly depending on what time of year it was. And they would do like the, you know... What was it? Uh, the action action zone. zone. That's right. And then um, every two, three months, they'd run these uh, super shows, which would have the buildups from all the action zones or, yeah. you know, and then storylines that came together. They'd bring in, you know, big name talent for these shows. Oops. <laughs> oh, the devil's one. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, and um, so this was actually mine, and we've been just uh, just over a year now. If it's September of '08, just we started it in June of '07. Uh, yeah, you started training in June, June July of June, yeah, June July. Um, so so we're just over a year. We made our debut in December of '07, but at this point, we've just been, you know, pretty much jobber fodder on action zones. Pretty much a lot of dark matches too on I think we've we have been on we were on Action Zone a couple times. Yeah. You know, but just to put over guys <laughs> like uh oh, Tommy this, ripping up that sign. Tommy ripping up the sides, yeah. He did oh, I love those now that though, gear too we wore. Obviously you know the original gear with the with the Tom and Ed uh, along the side of the singlets and the hooded sweatshirts. When did you guys ultimately evolve into the varsity jackets? Um when I think it was the next year. Oh, okay, so two thousand. I think it was two thousand nine. We got the we got the varsity jackets. Nine or ten? I can't. I don't remember. I had the. Uh, actually, it might have been this year. We got the. I think. Yeah, I think I think it was I think it was this year. I think we. Uh, I'm trying to remember if it was the beginning of either the end of this year or the beginning of of oh nine. I think it was the beginning of oh nine. No. What year? <laughs> what year is this? This is two thousand eight, Eddie. Wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's hard to remember. It's like. Yeah. Dude, by the way, Tommy, so we're already like we're so far behind now. The match has yeah. already started. Tommy, Tommy's wearing my elbow pad. That's right, because that is actually a converted him. knee pad from yeah. the Dollar Tree. His elbow was bothering him. Oh, now, was... now, with the, the structure of the way you guys wanted to do this, especially with you know a lot of family and friends in the crowd, um, what was your strategy going into this contest, especially to open the show for? Uh, this, this is the card that has Ultimo Dragon on it. Yeah, and Jay Lethal. Um, yeah, so what was your strategy to like? Well, we came into knowing we were working Thomas and Geo. Like, we're best friends with these two. Like, you know, since pretty much since day one when we first got there, and when we first met them, probably about a week or two in the training because they weren't yeah. there when we were because we were in the but like they were the class right before us. And like I said, we became best friends right away. We had such great chemistry. So when we knew we were wrestling them. Our thought was, we're just going to tear the fucking house down. <laughs> we're going to showcase everything we can do, and 
we're going to showcase everything they can do because I said I we we you know we were all in it for each Ooh. other. And 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 Thomas <laughs> gave you gave you the under chin. Hey, <laughs> dude, I don't blame you, man. I get I riled know, up. I tried too. to get in there, so uh, I know. And Tommy, this was like I said. Just some insider information. We we uh, went over this and called this match the night before. We all got together, went out to eat, <laughs> and uh, then we went back to our place. We were down in our area, and we pretty much we had um, old pipes. We put the put pipes in a square, yeah. and we pretty much went over how we were going to do this match. And there's Tommy trying to pull it, and Thomas breaks it up and ends up putting Tommy into me, so he knocks me over. Unbelievable! That, that I said this is a great showcasing Tommy's uh, amateur style and then Thomas's uh, great speed. Like I said, cause Thomas had such great ideas too. You know, and Tommy was all on board for everything because Tommy's just such a great seller. And, Tommy's a great base. And, uh, yeah, I, he great base. Me, yeah, he's like, he's one of the best bases I've ever seen as it comes to the in rematch. And now look at this. Oh, this was this was such a phenomenal spot. Dude, now working Thomas the gay. You see you see Thomas Rodriguez here. Uh, honestly, how, how much of a hybrid athlete do you think he was, especially for this time in 2008, mixing the psychology with the high high flying type strong strike moves? Oh, I love Thomas because, like I said, Thomas was just like us. Like, he was always watching things, trying to learn, and and like I said, and his stuff was that kind of thing. Those things, small little details like tripping somebody on a on a on a on a drop down or just like ways to twist your legs around. You know, just yeah, it just great the double suplex. I really like this underrated tag team, especially for 2008 Maranca and and Rodriguez. And, and you see, oh, you see, the, see you I think see. it was supposed to be a double, oh. uh, d- double drop to hold, but Thomas um, and they double drop kicked me out. But they did remember that they said that it was supposed to be a double uh, drop to hold on to him to make it look a little more realistic because I'm much bigger than those two. Man, you, watching this going back, I mean, right here you're about to see another double team move here, the arm bar and. Simple tag team psychology. I mean, the art of tag team wrestling, you know, especially more so now than ever. In 2008, tag team wrestling still wasn't, like, that big of a thing. I mean, it really isn't now. I mean, how did it feel in the going out there wrestling a tag team contest and respecting the psychology of the game? And, oh, Eddie just got rocked. Not this time. Well, that was uh, Thomas. I think Thomas slipped on Tommy's back or something. Tommy's always sweating. But, like, the – oh that. But the art of tag team wrestling, I mean, how does it feel here, you know, working your craft I, and the crowd into well, it? Well, I think, oh, I love this spot, too. I, we, I remember we were calling this, we were trying to, but I, Don Gio comes, but we get him. There goes Tom. Fucking love that. Um, me and Tommy, uh, Jay Lethal trained us, and he was very big on us learning the old psychology. Like, he went to Jim Cornette directly. At the time in TNA and got us fucking eight fucking full VHS tapes of the best of the Midnight Express. That's incredible. And me and Tommy fucking dissected those and took as much as we could out of them. We really, I guess, I love tag team wrestling. You could, I guess, with four people, you could do. It's just, it's an art with four people because you got to find a way to. All the big curb stuff. (laughs) It's banned now. You know, you really got to find a way to. You know, because there's so many more variables, so you have to think outside the box with a lot of stuff. And I, I said, it's just it, 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 it makes you work more and over, you know, think a lot more. It's a lot, it's it's a lot more fun, honestly. I mean, looking at this time period, I mean, seeing you guys, I mean, Ace, Ace, Ace to me always, you know, always looking for that great oh. opening, con- nice leg trip. Here we Fuck go. You up? <laughs> and look at me, grabbed you, underrated tendon strike. No wonder why Mike Lewis always said Gate was oh, on the blind game. tag. Oh no. Oh wait a minute! Is this is this what I think it is? Oh, it's the pendulum fucking elbow drop. Oh my goodness! Where did you guys create that move? <laughs> I don't even remember. I think Tommy Tommy saw the pendulum somewhere, and that's when we came up. I think uh, either I came or he's the that like while he's in that position, I can come down because I had there are, uh, the fucking huge elbow. Like I love doing the elbow drop like that, and so we I think we were able to like we could fucking. He hit me with his stiff. Uh, this one elbow. was uh, directly from Midnight Express. No uh, ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, the, the, we took the, that right from the Midnight. We like we could do that. That's not a yeah. Oof. Oh, the, that's that's simple and effective. I mean, old school Express. I mean, now now here's the question: You got the Express. Now, who created the Express name again? Your dad, Big, Big Norm. Norm. Big. I keep forgetting. Big Norm. We we kept trying to come up with names. We wanted Express. That's what we did know. Yeah. But we were just trying to think of something that would uh fit you know 
And your dad nailed it. Yeah, well, you know, he said he stayed up all night thinking about it. <laughs> the truth, he was in bed by 11. Don't let him fool you. Hey, that's up all night to some people. Right? <laughs> and now look at this. You guys slow. up all night for me. <laughs> oh, all night that long, would, that baby. Some fucking loser. <laughs> and there comes the tags. Now, the quick tags is what I love with you guys. You gotta when be you, quick tags. You guys are really looking to innovate some tag team maneuvers. Oh, and you, and you, you to me always had the psychology. While Tommy was the base and and everything, you were always the psych, the guy with the great psychology with with yeah. the brothers. I've always felt that, and I felt you're very underrated promo at that. Showed I off mean, my strength, squats, the power. I mean, how did it feel being the power and psychology guy of of, of the team? In, in, I had, no, I had no, we, we 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 made jokes about it. We it was fucking like I said. Tommy didn't it didn't bother Tommy. It didn't bother me. We just fucking it was something that we knew. And we 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 ran with it. Like I said, we yeah. we had a lot of fun with it. I guess like I said, don't sell Tommy short on the psychology either. He had great. Like I said, like I said, we when we were stuck in a pickle, I was able to really like I said. But you know, I said here's another one. Thomas, this strikes. one was from uh, I think Mint. I think it was uh, Motor City Machine Guns. Okay. Yeah. Or yes. There we go. And I love that drop kick. I mean, didn't you have this stolen from you? Actually, was this stolen? I think it was. I think I saw somebody <laughs> do it. Because I think there was a story where you guys invented little, uh, it, and then I think, I think uh, the machine guns or someone was stealing it, or like it was something like that. Obviously, so, that that trainer privilege type thing. I think somebody. I think I ended up seeing somebody do it. There you go. Nice snapmare takeover, slowing down the pace. My sweet the uh, blue wrestling shoes because I couldn't. Af- we couldn't afford boots yeah, yet. When was when was the boots? Yeah, when was the <laughs> boots? Was that the same time with the varsity jacket? Yeah, I think around. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, the end of the, by the end of this year we had them. You know, I'm looking here in the in the Ace Arena. I mean, how much do you miss this place? I missed this place. This place was phenomenal. Basically, a modern day Crockett, oh. the Crockett Promotions TV taping. I think center oh, stage. There comes oh. a double down. Look at this. Oh, that was a little lung blower. Thomas to get and look at. <laughs> Oh, sweet tag it on the on the re- oh, here comes Big Baby Joe. <laughs> bam! The Italian bam, muscle coming to play. Bam! Boom! We had three punches and then the big. Oh, I love this fire up right here. Very underrated, Joe Giovanni Morank. I've oh, always felt Gio. that. Nice suplex. Look at that. He had the head and neck, not even throwing the arm over. Yeah, he has the. Oh, I forgot what the name of that suplex is. And then he turns it right into a fucking Falcon's arrow. The GSM, the game set match. Oh, I thought he had him. Thought he had him, but look at Maranka here. Very underrated performer. I've always felt Maranka always was, and the last Ace Light, light Heavyweight Champion. This is um, if you can hear the commentary. Look, this was. I don't know if we purposely ended up doing it, but like it, it ended up being perfect because he tags Thomason right away. And they make the thing like, oh, well, they're not an experienced tag team. That's a mistake. They're not used to. Mike Lewis is a great comment. He was right on it. I don't even think we planned for that, but it, it ended up working out perfectly. Oh, great double teamwork. I mean, the guys. Yeah, that was a up. great spot. I remember. I forgot. Who, I think Thomas came up with the, wanted to do the kick like that off the the buckle like that. We were trying to figure out how to set into it, and Tommy got that. Oh, and right look at you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Field to the floor. What did uh, Mondo? Oh, this. Oh. This one was uh, from Asriel. <laughs> and I remember we told Jay, and Jay was like, there's no way in fucking hell you can do that. He, he told that to Az, but Az thought me and Tommy could do it, and we had a and then look at that. beautiful fucking spot. Oh, <laughs> that is so fucking gorgeous. Did, would you ever come up with a name for it? No, you never, because it was hard to do. It, it's, I had the right guy to do it with. Yeah, it was because we, we, there was several times we tried to do this in other matches. And you ended up messing up because the guy doesn't turn right in the tilt the whirl, and we end up end up having to change it into a heart attack. Oh, I love this too. Back when we used to do the back backbreaker out of that. Now look at Moranga. Look at that oh. double clothesline. He is a proverbial baby face. The house of oh, fire. Waking up, Tom. Come on, Thomas. Oh, did I miss? What do you fuck? Oh, I think we missed it. The, my fun. The funniest part of the match. What was the funniest part? What was <laughs> when Geo breaks up the pin after the tilt the world thing? Yeah, because Thomas had like a broken finger. Oh, that's when he broke the. Oh, look at that! Oh, I love that. Great spot counter too, to South yeah. of a Ram block. Because Thomas broke his finger during training, leapfrogging me. He leapfrogged and like mm. smacked my back, and it broke his finger. <laughs> now this is something I want to talk about. Look at this bow and arrow, and look at the gate. Yeah, this was fucking 
phenomenal. Oh, Watch his knee. Oh my <laughs> god! And that that I think messed him up too yeah. pretty bad. Well, because he was a new because he was. I remember Jay always told him he was gonna fuck up his knee one day doing that. <laughs> Then I love this one foot on the rope. Oh, I loved it. Crowd was fucking eating this shit up too. And I, I'm 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 doing a camera. This is my camera shot right here. I'm <laughs> marking out. I'm trying to hold it in because you guys are in the middle of stealing the show in the opening match. This there's is a, how, there's a frustration coming on between these guys. Last singles champions of respective belts in the company. Yep. Gate last web TV champ. Maranka the last light heavyweight champion. So, well, double whim. Oh, they're gonna try our shit. Nope. How is Gate even walking and banging up his done. knee? Oh, Geo. Still has five. <laughs> Single splash. Second one. Oh, big pooch of the face. Bang. <laughs> and then backdrop driver. Boom. Saito. That was more the Saito variation. Yeah. It was not backdrop. Look oh. At oh, my goodness. You caught the lung blower. Bang. Big slap on the back. Everyone hurries it. Flips sweetly into our finish. Bang. That is called the Varsity Blues, not the BS Driver. Yeah. Fallon always had it wrong. Well, we hadn't we hadn't really established a Varsity gimmick yet at that point. That's why. But look at that unbelievable the match. In my opinion, I said this all the time, and people don't really know about this. I genuinely know this as the greatest opening match in Ace history, and it's not even close. Would we go like? 13 minutes, I think. 13 minutes? You went over, actually. We went over. We had 10. We went 13. What was the reaction in the back after this contest? The reaction in the back was, um, actually, it was very, uh, because I I think the boys in the back, the guys who were, you know, the regular guys, they also knew this was our first big show, because I said we hadn't, you know, and actually coming to the back um, was actually applaud. We actually said we had a great, a lot of the guys were... But the best reception after we got through the hall, the guys that congratulating on was fucking Jay. <laughs> and his fucking macho gear, big fucking smile on his face. Like, you, you like, proud papa, <laughs> Jay Lethal. Man, that is incredible. I mean, in my opinion, again, I always state this, September 26, 2008, uh, Gate and G over the BS Express, the greatest opening match in Ace history. Not even close. Nothing's been able to touch it. Phenomenal match. Ed, thank you so much for wanting to do this. Thank this you. was fun. Maybe we'll try with the four of us next time. Absolutely. Maybe we definitely will. But thank you so much.